So that is massive and breaking a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and add some styling because if we run it, I mean, she's looking cute, but she's not, she's not really there yet. The spacing's a little weird. We gotta add some padding. We gotta get, we gotta make it a little bit more interactive so that we know which column is meant to be focused right now. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I will go ahead and add a styling comment because we're just doing this all in one big one file one very large file and so here i'll just declare the var go ahead and do something called column style set a new lip gloss style new style i think for this one we're just going to add padding and i'll make it one and two and let's go ahead we'll just keep it at that and then we'll do focused style so for this one, this is basically gonna be the styling for whichever column we have focused. So in this case, we'll go ahead and do lip gloss.newstyle. And then we will do padding the same as the ones that aren't focused. We'll also about add a border and we're gonna make it a rounded border because I like the look of that one. And what else do we wanna do? Let's also make, let's set a color for it as well. So let's do um, border foreground, border foreground, and let's just use lip gloss.color. And let's do number 62. This is just like some arbitrary color that I've taken from other examples in the bubble tea repo. <laughs> Consistent styling for the win, okay? And then let's go ahead and do a help style. So this is going to be for our help text at the bottom that tell us like what commands you can use and all of that stuff. And this is probably just, we'll make this like a light gray so that it's not taking all the focus, but it's there and legible. So lipgloss.newstyle, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and set the foreground to another color that I also grabbed from another example. 241 this is like a, a charcoal kind of color and we're just going to ignore the fact that um, these are all unused because we're setting a border on the focused style I'll, I'll leave it right now but we can also set it a hidden border on the column style so that it doesn't um, jump around so much when you switch between um, columns so I'll just show you what it looks like without that and we'll go ahead and add that after so then let's go to our view. So here, instead of just joining it, we are going to clean this up a little bit and uh, yeah, change it up based on which list is focused. So in this case, let's go ahead, if m.loaded, let's just make it a little bit more legible. So we'll do to do view, let's create that. Let's do m.lists. Actually, let me just yoink that line instead. Perfect. So we'll do something like that. And I'll do the same thing for in progress. Here, let's, let's yank this one instead. Okay, and then that will be an in progress view. And just change this to in progress. And then we'll change this one to done. And we'll change this to done view. And then here we'll still just join horizontal, but instead we will do, uh, let's do to do view. We'll do in prog view. And we'll do done view. I think I still need a comma there. Perfect. And based on the styling, so in this case, this is basically just, we just refactored it. Didn't, this didn't change any of the existing functionality. So if we go and run it, it's gonna look the exact same as what it did before. It's just gonna make it a little bit more legible with the changes that we are about to make. So let's go ahead and do a switch based on the status of the model. So go ahead and do a switch on M dot. I think it's focused is the field name. Yeah. And so in this case, if it's case to do, then I guess actually we'll make to do the default because it is the default value for the focused field. So we'll go ahead and 
return all of this. Go ahead and return that. And then I'm just going to delete. I keep thinking that there's a space at the bottom of this and there is not. Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. All right, so then in this case, we're going to add some styling. So let's do, we can do column style, column style dot render. Um, lip gloss dot lip, blah, 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 blah. that is not where you want it. You got to put that on the view that you want to have that style. <laughs> okay, so for this one, we're actually going to make this focused style. And then the next one is going to be the column style. So then these ones are both going to be column style dot render. I'll make this one prog view. Yeah. And then I'll just yoink that and put it here. Perfect. Looking good. Oh, did I not have, I don't have a, uh, there you go. There we go. I forgot to close the join horizontal. So we'll go ahead, and go ahead and do that. And then let's let's just see what that looks like because right now we only have the to do that can be focused anyway. So that is massive and breaking a little bit. So it looks like the sizing is a little bit messed up. So let's go ahead and just change a little bit of that. So we'll go ahead and actually just get rid of this minus two. Let's change it to height minus divisor and divide by two. And let's see if that works better. You kind of just have to tweak it depending on your own preferences, I think. Uh, you gotta kind of just play around with that a little bit. I do believe for the divisor, let's, let's try changing it to four and see how that looks. Loading, okay, so that looks a little bit better. It looks like the text is getting it's like getting cut off let's go ahead divisor there's four yeah let's go ahead let's go ahead and try that okay that looks much better and i think if i, I mean if i zoom it out it's not really like receiving a different window size message so it's not there we go but now it's it's not having issues rendering now because it's not like exceeding the height of the terminal so that's looking much better um one thing we can do as well if we want this to not like kind of write to std out what we can do is go ahead and open up main.go we can basically set like a quitting field for our main model so we'll go ahead and do like a quitting field that's a boolean and then all this does is we'll go ahead and like when we hit quit so let's go to update. Let's go to case. Let's do a case for uh, t dot key key message. So then for this one, it's like if um, we do if message dot string, or we can switch on message dot string. I don't mind either way. Uh, yeah, let's do let's do switch because switches are fun. So we can do a switch on that and then we'll look for control C. Control C or uh, Q. So if either of those are pressed, we are going to return M comma T dot quit. And what we'll do here is we'll actually set M dot quitting to true. And basically what, the, what we're doing here is we're basically, we're telling it, okay, we're going to quit now. So here we can ignore a final render. So what we can do is basically just have a big um, if I'm not quitting, then return an empty string. All right, we'll go ahead and we can try that. So let's try go run. Cool. And then here you'll see that it, it didn't write to a C out. All right, so we'll go ahead and start working around like which model is focused. To do that, we'll go ahead and create a couple of helper functions. I am gonna keep it up here because that's where our other ones are. But basically what we wanna do is we wanna create one for next. Maybe I'll add a little to do here. 
So go to next, go to next list. And then we need another one for like, uh, go to previous list. Okay, perfect. And then this is just gonna be a super basic function that doesn't return anything and just modifies the model directly. So we'll go ahead and just do, so if m.focused is equal to done, which means like if it's at the end of the list of lists, then we'll go ahead and set m.focused to to do. And otherwise we are going to increment m.focused. Okay, and then we'll do something quite similar for previous. So here we'll go ahead and do prev, and then this one's gonna be, if it's equal to to do, we'll set it to done. So basically it'll be like a little circle that you can keep moving things around. And then we'll just decrement it otherwise. Go ahead and do that. And then what we will do, we gotta add some kind of interaction for this. Like we'll add that to the update. We'll add a new case here for left or H. Then we will do, left will be previous so we'll do m.prev and then i'll just copy that and do one for cases right and this is l it's going to be m.next perfect and then that should be good let's see let's see if that runs oh wait i also need to update the return, it's not gonna change the focused, which one's focused in the view. So let's go ahead and create a case for, go case in progress. Okay, and then let's add a case for done as well. And it's pretty much gonna be the same as this. except the focused style is going to move. We'll put this one there, there we go. And then we'll do something similar for the in progress as well. So we've got in progress done and to do. And I think I forgot to close each of these, I did. Perfect. There we go, that should fix it. There we go. Perfect, so we'll go ahead and see what that looks like. So the height looks good. We're able to switch focus between different columns. The only thing is that the width of the column looks like it's about the same as the width of the list. So we'll go ahead and try to fix that. So let's open up our main.go. We'll go to our update function. And then in the window size message, here is where we'll do Let's change the column style dot width and we'll set that to the message dot width uh, divided by the divisor. And we'll do the same thing for the focused styles so that they are all consistent. Go ahead and save that. Let's see what that looks like. All right, and now it looks like the heights are changing up a little bit. So I think our lists might have to be made a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead to our list definition. So init lists, I actually meant to go to the definition of that. There we go. Let's change that to height divided by two. And then back in update, let's change the height of each of these styles to the height minus the divisor because that was like the perfect height for our window. It looks like I made a typo where I meant to set this as the height, not the width. So I messed up the width a little bit. <laughs> so let's go ahead and run that and see what that looks like. There we go. That looks way better. Looks like the widths are even and it looks like the height is looking pretty good. I would say that's good enough for the styling. 
So let's go ahead and get the functionality in there. I want to be able to move the different tasks that are in my to do to in progress to done, maybe back to to do. So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so let's add the functionality for us to be able to move our tasks between different lists. 